Hi there, Dr. Ashley Oxer, and I want to talk to you today and teach you a little bit about sciatica. Um, literally a pain in your rear end, sciatica. So I've got some visuals that are going to help me with this. A lot of people suffer from this um, many times a very simple to correct problem when you do the right things and you find out where that impingement and irritation is coming from. So on the screen you should see some anatomy here and see the skeleton. I'm going to point a couple things out for you. Uh, what you're going to notice is most of the soft tissues pulled away. You'll see here that the lumbar spine is in this region. Sacrum's right here. Both hips and pelvis are right here. So that's the alignment this person is facing forward looking at us right now. So I'm going to put this into motion and what you're going to see as we come around the back side is right there where that what is called the piriformis muscle. It's a small muscle that attaches from your pelvis, your sacrum to your uh hum your um I'm sorry, your femur out here on your hip. That's this muscle. Let me show you right here, this one. Many times it'll get tight, tight like a rubber band. And when it gets that tight, this nerve right here, the sciatic nerve that passes through like a big cable right under that hip, under the piriformis and down the leg, it'll get irritated, impinged, and cause literally a pain in your butt. That can radiate clear to your toe if you have that like that. So while a lot of times the approach is, okay, let's work out the um, the spasm of this muscle here, and up here's gluteal muscles. So a lot of times the gluteal muscles, they'll also do some therapy or different things, maybe put some um, muscle stim on the muscle, do some ultrasound here. So we try all these passive approaches um, however, many times what's happening is actually the problem is right here. So let me show you this. The problem is right here where there's misalignment. We've got subluxation of the sacrum, pelvic bone, or both. Sometimes even higher up will have impingement where the nerves come out in the lumbar up through here. And that can cause these symptoms. So I encourage everybody who has this condition, sciatica, to get to your corrective chiropractor right away. They'll do a complete and thorough examination um, after we take a complete and detailed history so we can understand what might have led you there. We'll show you, you're going to feel where the issues are at. We'll be able to find them. Uh, we'll even look at your digital posture many times to see what kind of shifts are happening in your pelvis or in your lower spine. We'll do a digital motion study x-ray so that we can pinpoint what bones and segments are or are not moving. Because the other thing here to keep in mind is when you look at this, many times if these segments aren't moving, whether it's the sacrum, the SI joint along here, or even the lumbars up above, when we have lack of motion, that causes ner nerve irritation and pain too. So motion study x-ray is gigantic, gives us a huge advantage to find the cause of this problem. And then don't forget, I always do a detailed report of findings and recommendations so that you will see what's going on, understand what's going on. We'll go over your insurance, all the prognosis, and then assuming you're a candidate for results, we'll get started immediately and get you back on the road to health. So that's just a little tip on sciatica to understand it. Love to see you here to help as many people as we can if this pain in the butt is yours. Take care.